What's going on guys? Welcome back to an update video here with Rodeo FX. Uh, now if you guys did watch our margin call Monday, you know we're looking at a couple of trade potential setups for this week already. Uh, there was one on GFB, JPY, uh, we're looking for potential sales, but I ended up taking the one here on EURUSD. Reason being, if we have a look at our market today, we do know that it is actually a Japanese bank holiday. So that was kind of the reason for me staying away uh, from any JPY pairs. While well, the only JPY pair I trade is GBJPY, but in general, we try to stay away from any pair where there's a you know bank holiday or the markets tend to be closed. So this is the reason why I took the Euro USD. This was one of the trades we're looking for, kind of sitting about you know, roughly about here when we were talking about the video, looking for the push to the downside or rejection and push to the upside. Ended up getting a nice push down. Ended up, I did take the trade a little bit late, but that's fine. We did get a pretty decent entry. Uh, push to the downside. Now, target is back down here. You can see roughly about the 1.16757 mark. Now, it's just, just below that 1.16800 mark. Bit of a psychological level, uh, but it's also just above another round number as well. Now, reason for the take profit, if we have a look here on the 4-hourly time frame, we can see we are approaching a support. Uh, the one thing I'm a little bit aware of is we are sitting at a current major support as well. So we saw previous rejection zone back down here. So we just need to keep an eye out, see if the market goes below. If the market does break below and stay below and start, we start to see some consolidation below the zone, this could be a really good place for us to know, well, to put some traffic between our entry and you know the current market price. This could help us to put our stop loss to break even because we know there's something preventing it from coming back at the time being. I will, lo will leave my trade uh, open to let it, uh, you know, let, let us do its job until then, you know, until we start to see some consolidation below the zone. If I start to see rejection around the zone, I might look at perhaps close, closing the trade. The one thing uh, we are also counting on this is a pretty high impact news week as well. So if we have a look in here at our calendar, we can see we've got a lot of UFD news coming up. Now this is only halfway through the week. So we need to keep in mind, we've got some, some very low minor case news events for USD coming up. So they won't do too much, but at the end of the week, we have a lot of news coming out for USD, well, for the US, for the for Europe, like Germany. We've got UK news coming out, Canadian news coming out. Uh, so it's a pretty full-on week, fundamental week as well. We have a bit of uh, Australian news as well, a little bit of slight New Zealand news, nothing too major but it is a fairly high news week, which means we could potentially use these announcements to push past a further support or resistance area. So just keep that in mind if you guys are looking to take any other trades, we'll keep you updated on them as well. But this is our current trade, guys. That's how we're gonna manage it. If you have any questions, let us know. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're watching us on Instagram, don't forget to follow us and give us a double tap or a like. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, trade safe.